Hey guys, today I'm going to do a full walkthrough guide about the prison depths level within Dead Cells. Welcome, I am Zen from GameScript Network, where I obsess to help you out with your games. And first, before I'm going to walk you through the level, I am sharing with you which rules of power you can find about the time door, but there isn't any time door in this level, so you can skip that one. The enemies you encounter and what they will drop, what you get behind the boss stem cell doors, and which exits they are within the level. There's only one scroll of power within the level, as for the timed door, there isn't any, so you can skip it. As for the enemies you will encounter, you encounter the zombies, and they drop the blood sword, the frontline shield, and the double cross omatic. Undead archers, and they drop the infantry bow and the ice bow, and the bow and endless quiver. Slashers, and they drop the cloister bomb and the heavy turret. Maskers, and they drop the fire blast. Hammers, and they drop the war spear and the oil grenade. Corpse biters, what are spawned by the hammer, but they don't drop anything. Kamikazes, and they drop the frantic sword. Lace raiders, and they drop the crusher. And lancers will replace the undead archers when you have four boss stem cells active, and they drop the Hayabusa gauntlets, and I think I pronounced that right. I don't know. As for the boss cell doors, there are only the two cell door and the three cell door. And in the two cell door, you will find a chest. And in the three cell door, you find a cursed chest inside. There's only one exit, and that is to the Asuri level. And now, guys, I'm going to walk you through the level within the game. Now, guys, we are inside the prisoner depths level where I'm going to walk you through it with all the enemies and possible some secret areas if I mean maybe some chests inside or something and the enemies pretty much but okay let's let's reset because I totally got like wrecked over there okay this is a trapped area gotta look out there are a lot of trapped areas in this area so you'll have to look out for that and we're coming up to the masker and what they do is that they Channel of fog. What makes the other enemies invisible, but you can still see them like a little blurry on the top there. There's an enemy walking over there. So you want to kill them first so you can remove the fog and then you can see the enemies again. So these are slashers. And this is the lace raider. And what he does is just spin around like crazy. And when he does this, I think you can't damage him. No, you can't. Everything blocks from attacking him. So these are the slashers. They can pretty much be very aggressive with their three hit combo. Especially when the last hit blows with a shockwave. Also look out because they may charge at you. Like that. And I wasn't even on the platform. <laughs> So be careful of those. I need to pick a weapon here and then lead it. Recycle it. And there's coming another masker. And there's an enemy here, and I think it is a lace razor. Oh no, it's the flasher. Okay, we're coming up to the hammer. I almost died there, so... Really good. Okay, there was another enemy, enemy, and that's the hammer, but I killed him too fast. Or at least the turrets did. So it is on that archer, just gets a straight arrow at you and jumps away when you get close. These are the hammers. They will spawn the corpse biters. And what these guys also can do is they will deploy bombs, so you have to look out for that as well. There's a kamikaze hanging over there, and that what they do is go to you and they explode in your face, so you want to go look out for that.
This is the tree cell door, but I cannot open it because I have cells active. And those are just zombies. Flasher. Red wall rune. I think we're coming up to the area. It's the lead room. Let's see what enemy I got. Zombie. Oh shit. Grab that amulet. This is a cell container. And this is dead end. Well, dead end to the cell container. This area isn't that big, but it is basically a level between the Promenade of the Condemned and the Asteria level. So you, if you have boss cells active, then you can have cursed chests here to get to gain more scrolls of power but there is only one scroll of power within this level so i guess if you don't go for the time door in the history you still get that scroll of power and if you have a chance in getting this cursed chest here you get more scrolls of power or even more chance of uh, getting your build what you want or just some extra gold for your run So this guy contains the uh, scroll of power, so let's get him. Put this into tactics. The hammers are pretty annoying, so you want to uh, like one shot them very fast, so they can't spawn their course biters or their bombs. Otherwise, you have to like move away from him. Otherwise, he's going to spam bombs and. Uh, and the uh, corpse biters. <sighs> Where do I have to go next? This is another dead end, yeah. <clears throat> okay, I can break this floor right here. What is here? It's going to be an item. But I'm just going to use to heal. And then I just switch it. So this is the cursed chest. I think there I always find a cursed chest in this uh, level, so. It is pretty good to go through this level before you go to the usury. But now I have to be careful here. Two cell door, what will contain the chest. And this shop. I'm going to buy this. And there is the exit to the Surrey level. And first I'm going to check the map to show you how big it is. This area is not that big if you can see here. Two dead ends and just a straight line forward to the exit. And some merchants on the side. Chest, maybe. First chest as well. So that wraps up this level. Guys, I... I hope this video was helpful and I thank you guys for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want more gaming videos like this one, then you could subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. But that is for today. I catch you guys next time.